Bonjour, bonjour. Bienvenue à Perpignan. Welcome to Perpignan. Perpignan is in the, I guess the English, real English way to say it is Perpignan. Perpignan is the way to say it. City I used to live in for the last, for not the last five years, for five years, um, and left here about two years ago. Uh, and now that I'm coming back, man, I just realized, like, like change kind of sucks sometimes. Like change is not easy. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm being back here and I'm, I'm realizing that so many things have changed. I mean, like so many things have changed, but at the same time, things are still the same a little bit. If that makes, if that makes kind of sense. here and seeing things it's not as if it's not even like everything around here has changed like the buildings are kind of still the same I see the kind of people they're very similar a lot of the same people I've, I've been meeting with a lot of people who I've met before oh wow Christmas market they're already setting up for it like so I'm noticing the same people are still working places um, some people that I know I've seen them in one place and now they're working in a different place but I recognize them so that's been great but I still feel like there's like some sort of change. Like there's something about just changing. But then as I'm back here, so much hasn't changed. So it makes me think like, is it us that changes? And that's what changes the things around us. I'm walking and you know me being here and playing for this this city and you know it was a big deal our team and you know people always came to the games and everything and now as I'm back you know I'm sad that the team's not around but I see like nothing stopped like people are still running around people are still working um, I went by school today the kids were still laughing and joking running around and I realized sometimes that maybe it's the fact that we kind of change who we are and move on and then coming back and seeing things through a different perspective, that's maybe one of the little hard parts of change. sun being out all the time and it makes me kind of makes me kind of wonder you know being here like as we look at things and we look at people like you know like I look at this shop like wow the shop is still here or there's new people here it's changed so much I wonder if these things and people look at back at us as we're returning to old places like wow you've you've changed as well so kind of looking at it both ways, you know, just a simple aspect of me being here, walking down the street where I used to live um, and trying to get into the, the building where I used to live because I have stuff there still. And I open this gate to go into this place where I live every single day, maybe two or three times a day for three years, multiple times a day. And I couldn't even remember the code to get in, which makes me think, have I changed or like, crazy it's crazy I guess I just realized long story short as I've been venting today it's kind of like most of the time I think we think things are changing but I think it's us kind of that changes through like the things we experience the things that we go through uh, I'm coming back here and of course I lived on the other side of this bridge so I walked across this bridge thousands of times 
and the thoughts that I had before, I don't have now. I appreciate things more, uh, looking at things more because I haven't been here, seeing how green everything is. So you guys who's, who here, who think I'm always complaining about the sun, I'm just used to this kind of weather. Like this is what I'm used to and just, I guess I almost didn't appreciate it more and being back here, appreciating it even more it just makes me realize that we just change over time. We become more appreciative. We, we, we like things a little bit more. We, we, we're kind of the ones that change a little bit. So it just begs the question, is change so bad? We think of change, we automatically think horrible, but I think that change is a good thing. As much as I love living here and as much as sad as I was leaving here, um, I think that change was good. I think the change was good. And you know, I must say though, I do miss the life here in the south of France. The little small, like see, little small alleyways. I live like just 10 seconds from this square, so this was like, this there is like home. And it's almost just like, I feel like everything's changed, but nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Only me. I didn't realize it when I was here, but now that I'm back, going down the street, I used to come down all the time. I really appreciate it. Huh. And I wonder, did it change? Was it always this quiet? Or I just realized it now? The place I used to always come to? Is it open still? Hey, bonjour. Is it family? No, no way. Ah, okay, d'accord. Et c'est le... Olivier, il est toujours là. Oui, il est toujours là. Et Caro, le deux. Oui. C'est toujours le propriétaire. Oh, it's crazy in this place here, the place I was always at every day. It changed so much. My friends don't even own it anymore. Oh. Yeah, I was here like every. I was here like every day, every day, every day. Wow. And just speaking with the, speaking with the lady, she's new there. I actually had to feel, I actually had to tell her about how it used to be there because uh, it has changed. But then again, for her, nothing's changed. It's changed for me. So, wow. I wish I could be live talking to you guys right now. Because some of you guys who have been here a while, Dusty, Inez, Agnieszka, Aga, you guys might be able to tell me where I used to eat at when I was here. I used to go to this place all the time. But you guys will be able to tell me where I eat. I can't remember where I used to eat every day. Like two of the places are closed. That place doesn't have food anymore. say the more things change the more they <laughs> it's only here, make me want to cry. Goodness, just going to the store just for a water. And like they haven't changed, but seeing those people, like I haven't seen them in forever. It's 
been forever since I see them. It was a little marketplace I used to go to every day. And I go in there like, yeah, things have ch I've changed. They're still there. They're still enjoying, having a great time. It's me that's changed. And coming and seeing them, it's just, it's just like, <sighs> I can't cry in the morning. place and I went there and now it's a very nice healthy restaurant slash fast food place um, with very nice people working there and I was able to get food from there and it made me think like okay the cupcake shop and cookie place isn't there which I'm used to going but I'm used to going there and eating which is exactly what I did so it hasn't changed it just has transformed so maybe change isn't we shouldn't look at change as change we should look at it as things just transforming. And instead of saying, oh no, like for example, now it's starting to be cold. Well, not here, but in other places, I was just in Poland, it was cold. But if you embrace it, like the cold is coming, you can see the beauty that's in the leaves and the trees changing colors and all that kind of stuff. Ignore the cold, which is what I try to do, but it's not very successfully. But you realize things are just transforming. And just like I got from someone else, I can't even say that. Gosha, if you're watching, I got this from you. Um, that as the weather changes and the leaves fall and you see the beauty of autumn, we learn to embrace the change because change can be beautiful. Just as the leaves coming off the trees can be super gorgeous. And I think as we learn to embrace it and we don't fight it. Celira, oh man, what you are? Ah, tranquille. Et toi, ça fait combien de temps tu es là? Trois ans passé. Oh, yeah. But you saw it, huh? Yeah, I Man, I'm running into everyone. But I think I was saying, if we can, I guess the long story, easy way to say it, in today's rant uh, kind of talk, whereas if I didn't talk to you today, I'd be pretty sad, I think, walking around here, especially with everyone coming up and saying hello, and I'm being surprised by everyone from the people where I buy my water from to just walking in the street to running into people to the people who clean the garbage from the streets. Like, I know them, I would talk to them every day. Um, yeah, it'd be a really emotional day. So I just wanna thank you guys for being here. And I guess if there's a thought that could come out of here is like, if we can learn to embrace the beauty of change, because no matter how bad something is, there's always a beauty that comes with it. If we can learn to embrace it, I think, and, and we learn not to fight it, we don't fight it. It's not as bad as we think. And we can come out a lot better, a lot stronger person. And at the end, it's about progress and, be, and getting better. So, yeah, change can be beautiful. So I guess on that note, I'm gonna find a nice place in this park where I used to always go up here. If you guys remember for the vlogs, I lived in the center, but it was impossible to find a place to park there. So I always had to park and walk through this park to get to, get to my home. Gonna go there, have a nice meal from a new place and embrace the change. And at the same time, I feel much better having talked to you guys about it. So thank you so much for you guys being here and sticking through to the end and you guys who support me and, and uh, having you guys here, it's awesome. It's awesome to, to reshare these memories with you. And hopefully you guys who have been here, you'll recognize that I used to always walk down this street. I have the coffee, skateboard down that hill, cross the street, walk straight down, cross to the park, my car was over there every time and I guess now I'm gonna find me a nice place right here but I want to say thank you guys so much for watching all of you guys who show support and everything like that it really means a lot to me more than I can ever express to you other than letting you guys know it all the time and on that note here we go food have a great day uh, appreciate all of you guys I really mean that and I'll speak to everyone later and everyone always remember to work hard be brave and don't forget to smile